Debbie Taylor's down behind us on this beautifully manicured field at National Spark. Well, just a little off to the field in front of the dugout. And nobody's been pitching better the second half of the season than John Lannan, Deb. Johnny, you are absolutely right. John Lannan has really pitched with a purpose since going down to the minor leagues. Now, you got to remember last season, he and the team finished on a high note. He hopes to do the same this year. Finish strong. You know, we play pretty good at home and uh, just come home and, and show the fans a good time. The last home stand of the year. Um, be, be good for us going into 2011. What's the key to doing that? It just seems like you guys play so much better at home. Do you have any understanding as to why? Um, I, I don't know. I, um, I don't think it's playing better. I think your record shows up uh, just is better at home. But um, I think we play good ball on the road, just like having caught some breaks on the road and, um, you know, just feed out the momentum at home and, and win some games here. The month of September is one where, you know, a lot of guys, including yourself and just probably everybody here, gets to, you know, show the front office what they're all about. And just do you enjoy that part of the, you know, finishing off the season, knowing that you can leave a good impact on their minds? Yeah, I mean, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And uh, I've just prided myself in finishing strong the last couple of years. And um, it's helped me going back into spring training the following year because I just uh, like ending the year strong and having a couple good starts under my belt. What do you think has been the key to your last few outings being successful? Um, you know, just keeping off balance, uh, throwing the ball in, using my changeup, uh, and just making pitches when I need to. Uh, I've given up some hits, but uh, you know, as long as I make that pitch when I need to, is that's all that matters. You talk about throwing the ball in. Is that something that you're making a conscious effort to do? Does Steve McCaddy encourage you to do that more? Well, I mean, when the whole pitching staff was struggling there for a couple weeks, I remember that I wasn't going in as much as I want to, and um, I think one of my strong suits is going in and I feel comfortable going in and uh, just trying to you know open up that outside just a little bit more so uh, that's that's something I like doing is just trying to go in and uh, and, and trying to get that outside opened up a little more. What's it been like now that you know we're towards the end of the season working with Pudge Rodriguez? It's been awesome you know uh, he's been a really big help you know calling pitches and and watching him work with Levo and uh, you know that's why he's a future Hall of Famer you know just to how he's how he is back there all around. Is there any one thing that you've learned about yourself this year that you can kind of put in the back of your mind and just uh, continue to think as you continue your career? Um, that uh, one start, you know, um, in, the, in, the, in the scheme of things and how long your career should be and how long you want it to be, it really doesn't matter that much. Uh, it still matters, but, you know, not to put too much pressure on yourself and to kind of have fun and realize that... Uh, one, one start in the scheme of things isn't that big of a deal and um, you know just to have fun out there and, uh, and I really was humble this year and uh, just to stay humble is, uh, was a huge key for me this year. John told me too that that trip to Harrisburg really gave him a better appreciation for being in the major leagues. He said that the guys down there just play with so much heart and he really enjoyed being around them and he said that he really learned a lot uh, about himself during that time. Johnny Phil back to you.